Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Neo Cipher Zero, and welcome back to Final Fantasy X. We are here in the Makalania Cloister of Trials, so let's get this shit started. First thing you're going to want to do is grab this glyph sphere that is sitting precariously in the central pillar of the area, and we're going to place it into this pedestal. Now, if you remember with these pedestals, when you step on the shiny little thing over here, it resets the location of the pedestal. Uh, so if you mess up and you need to reset, then step on that and it'll pop right back here. So first thing we're going to do is push into this icicle, which will make it disappear. Hooray. Following that, we are going to push it this way into the next icicle, where it will stop. No, it goes down the ramp. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> we need it to go that way anyway, so it's cool. So we're going to just chase it on down there, and we're going to grab the sphere out of it. And we're going to go all the way to the slot on the left and place it here. So that's going to change some things around and move this little pedestal up, revealing the Makalania sphere up top. So we're just going to go on back up and grab that Makalania sphere right there. Now we're going to take the sphere back to the pedestal, put it in the pedestal. Okay, now we're going to push the pedestal to the right, and it's going to lock into place under this pillar, activating that. So we've activated that bridge section. So now we're going to go back up, and there should be... Yeah, there's a Makalania sphere right underneath the entrance here. We're just going to go ahead and grab that. We're going to take that sphere and put it in this central column. Oh wait, we don't need to put it in the center column yet, we need to go down here. And place it in this column. Got it. My bad. I knew it was one of the columns, okay. So we put that there, we go up to the top of the ramp, we'll grab this Makalania sphere. Now we're going to put that in the central column, and that's going to complete our bridge. But wait! We're not done. We need to get the destruction sphere in order to unlock future happenings and goings-ons and awesomeness. So, so we're going to go up here to the top, but we're not going to go across just yet. We're just going to step on this little shiny platform, and that's going to reset this pedestal with the Makalania sphere. It also removes part of the section of the bridge, too. So, that's fine. We're gonna fix that in just a second. First, we're gonna take the Makalania sphere. Careful not to push down the pedestal first. We wanna be hold- no. We wanna be holding it, and then push it down. Because it's then gonna hit this glyph, and it's gonna go flying across the map. <laughs> but it breaks the icicle and catches the destruction sphere, which is what we're after. Okay, so we go down here next, and we're going to step on this little platform, and it's going to reset the location of the pedestal. So now the destruction sphere is nested safely inside it. We take this Makalania sphere, and we're going to put it in this recess underneath the entrance, because it's going to cause the stalagmites to reappear. And so now we can push the pedestal into the stalagmites. Come on. Line it up perfectly. There we go. So now we have to take this Makalania sphere from the central pillar, which is gonna make another section of it disappear. I know it seems like we're going backwards, but trust me, we need this destruction sphere. And we're gonna put that in this area right above the ramp to make that reappear. Now we're going to push the pedestal down the ramp. Okay, we're gonna follow it down the ramp, take the destruction sphere, and that's just gonna go right here. It's gonna blow up part of the ice, 
And we're going to get a nice little reward from this. What what do we get from from the chest today, Bob? No, it's not. It's a Lux Sphere, which is pretty much just as good. <laughs> So next, we're gonna push the pedestal back into its former location. Whoops, no we're not, I done goofed, hold on. Gonna grab this sphere first from underneath the entrance. Take it down here. Place it in the pedestal. It's all coming together now, isn't it? Now we push it in. We're gonna go up to the top again. Take this sphere from the top of the ramp, place it in the central pillar. All right, now that that's taken care of, we can just go ahead and go. Our work here is done. No need to do that, but, oh wait. Yeah, I forgot that stepping on that thing removes the pillar, or removes the pedestal from underneath the last section, so don't do that. <laughs> All right, but we're out now, so. Now everyone's gonna be mad at us, of course. Please. Give us a chance to explain. No need. I already know what I'll tell the other maesters. He knows what he'll tell them. Meaning? Lord Seymour Meaning he doesn't the care about the truth. The before becoming a maester. You're not letting us go. Nope. Let you go? Lord Seymour would never forgive us if we did. Never mind that he's a total wait, douche. Wait. Jiskel's sphere! We can show it to them! You mean this? Oh, you right. mean the one that they don't care about? The Guado take care of Guado affairs. Uh-huh. You fucking bastard. No Run! Oh, boy. Or it just pushes them out of the way. <laughs> nice. Okay, so now we begin a very long running sequence. But first, remember to save! And then run, because people are coming after us. Oh, Awaka disappeared into the nothingness. Wonderful. Alright, so you're just gonna give... These guys are gonna give chase to you. We're just gonna give them a good show here. Uh, they will eventually catch up to you, and then you'll have to fight them. But that's okay. And it's taking them a while, actually. There we go. Alright, so, uh, you know, fight a few if you want. They're not particularly difficult, I don't think. Oh yeah, I still haven't leveled up my characters from the last fight with Seymour. That's okay. We'll have time for that in a moment. Okay, so now that we're out here... Actually, this is probably a good time to do it, so let me just, uh, level up my guys real quick. Okay, now my characters are looking a little better. So we're gonna stick to this right side path. Stick to this side, and then once we get all across, we find a treasure chest, which has a level one key sphere, which is awesome. Okay, and there's a safe sphere right here, so make sure you use that, because coming up, we have a pretty intense fight, so. Okay, so this upcoming boss battle uh, requires a bit more strategy than previously, um, because this thing can do massive damage. Uh, but I think most of the challenge is really going to be with the Guado guys, because they're going to auto-heal, auto-potion, whatever it's called. Uh, so the first thing we're probably going to do is summon an Aeon and just take care of them real quick. Uh, well, you know what, let's go ahead and haste Lulu. Yeah, they're going to cast Berserk. And then we're going to fire a on the Wendigo. Oh god, it killed Titus already. Okay, so we're going to swap out Orin for Yuna really quick. And use her overdrive to grand summon. Uh, you know what? Let's do Efree. And Ifrit's just gonna go ahead and use his uh, overdrive here so we can get rid of those Guado douchebags. Oh, 
Bam. All right, so they're both gone, and we've done a pretty good chunk of damage to them, but they're gonna have a final act of casting Shell and Protect on our fucking ape man. He's gonna knock the fuck out of our Aeon. And we're in a spot of trouble, because Titus is down, and we have to get him back up. So... What can we do here? We need we need to keep Lulu out. So let's go ahead and use let, you know what? Let's use her overdrive just for fuck's sake. We're gonna use Fire of Fury. Come on, go. Come on. Okay, there we go. All right. So that's a pretty big chunk of damage. Please, yes, don't hit her. Okay, Lulu, you can go again. Let's hope to God that he doesn't actually attack you know, this time. Okay, so now let's use white magic to heal Titus. Bring him back to life. Okay, you're not a very good person to be hitting you know, so... Fire again. It's gonna, it's doing a lot less damage now because he's got all these protective spells and shit on him. Let's swap out Titus real quick. If my button will work. There we go. For Auron. Alright, so we're gonna get, go ahead and use Threaten because it's gonna remove the Berserk from him, I think. Hope it does. Yeah, okay, that's good. Awesome. Why is he not moving? Hi, how are you? Uh, <laughs> it's just his breath. Okay, whatever. So now we're going to swap out Yuna for Waka. And we're going to use the skill Sleep Attack. And put him to sleep. Alright, then we just cast Fire on it. And just keep doing as massive attacks as we can until, you know, until it dies. Which is hopefully soon, because this guy can be a pain in the ass. If you let him. Let's use Waka's overdrive, because why the fuck not? As long as we don't get ice. Should be fine. Thunder. Ah, damn it. There we go. Okay. Pow. Good job. Okay. Okay. So, Oren, I want you to use power break. Ah, oh, shit, it woke him up. Okay, okay, this is fine. Let's, uh, fire her. And fire her again. And then, Waka, you can use your sleep attack again. <laughs> Pow. More fire her. Can't ever get enough of that fire her. And there he goes. Excellent. Not a, not a bad battle, actually. Just keep your wits about you, because if he gets a couple of good hits on you, it can really fuck you up. And you don't want to be playing that battle of, you know, using Phoenix Downs and potions and everything. Because uh, he can, as you all saw, wipe out most of your characters in one hit. And he's going to go ahead and break the ice. <laughs> Let's break the ice. We get a whole bunch of experience. Well, I mean, it's not that much, but better than nothing. And we got some ability spheres. Thank the fucking lords. Lord Nelson. I really needed ability spheres. So we're going to have a little cutscene. Praise be to Yevon. That's <laughs> what I would have said if I was a follower of Yevon. We were all there and in one piece. Even if I had a headache from wondering what was in store for us next. <laughs> okay, so now we're stuck down here at the bottom of the lake. The, the lake. We're gonna go ahead and use the safe sphere. And we're gonna talk to all our party members here. What now, I wonder? What now? Uh, you act first and think later, don't you? Haha. <laughs> I mean, can't you be a little more responsible? We're all depending on you, you know? Orange to devil may care. No, no, no. <laughs> Just a suggestion. You should place trust in your friends. Yeah, Titus. But you can't expect someone to protect you all the time. True, true. You would do well to remember that. 
Is that a lecture? Hey, don't, I don't need your lectures, Oren. I'm doing more damage than you at this point, so you know what? We're Fuck under you. the lake ice, aren't we? Yes, we are. Look, that's the bottom of the temple. Oh, interesting. <sighs> We've fallen a long way. Indeed, we have. All right, so we're just gonna talk to all our party members. Waka's over here, still being grumpy, Mr. Grumpy Pants. Hey, Waka, you salty? Would you cheer up? I, look, we only did what we had to do. It doesn't matter. Don't you see? I've always walked the path of Yevon. But now, I'm a traitor. Well, you know How what? Could this happen? That's life, Waka. Damn. It's not Riku's it's not fault. Riku's fault either. Riku's my girl. You don't know how I feel. Yeah, whatever. I mean, Waka, grow up, man. That's just life. You know, as I always say, sometimes you get a ch the chocolate donut and sometimes you get a shit bagel. What am what else can I say? I'm sure Yuni's okay. <laughs> She's breathing fine and all. How are Lulu and Waka? There's a chest back there. Well, Waka's in shock. Can't blame him either. And Lulu, well, she's just the same as always. She's so together. All grown up, I guess. I guess. I guess. <laughs> well, just give me five or six more years. Um, Riku, can you not can you not gesture like that? So, Mari, <laughs> how do we get out of here? Hey, wow. Don't change the hey. Subject. Are you coming on to me? Recline. Kimari too. Only those who try will become. Huh? I think he means you have to work hard if you want to be like Lulu. Yeah, you gotta work hard if you oh, want bigger boobs. Can Mari think Riku should stay Riku? Yeah. Huh? Hey, are you saying I'll never be like Lulu? It's Kimari. okay. You get some nice boobs in the sequel. <laughs> At a time like this, because we don't have fucking sticks up our ass, you f giant fucking you know? moron, racist. All right, Yuna, Yuna's awake. I wanted to confront Maester Seymour about his father, Lord Jiskol. I wanted to convince him to turn himself in to Yevon's judgment in exchange for marriage. Yes, if that's what it took. So, that was stupid, what did Yuna. Seymour say? He didn't say anything. Now, I, now I don't even think it was worth it. So I you fucked told up. You what I was going to do. <laughs> it's okay. Everybody gets Enough. one. Dwelling in the past is futile. Yes, listen to Oren. Hey, you don't have to say it like that. You want to waste time listening to her regrets? <laughs> you don't have to say it like that. <laughs> Poor Riku. Our immediate concern She's so adorable. is Yuna's pilgrimage. Are you willing to go on? Yes. But then, do you think Yevon will allow it? Fuck that shit. Let's the just do it anyway. The ones that give power <laughs> to the summoners. Not the temples or the teachings. Or it makes a good point. If the temples try to stop us, then we will defy Yevon if we must. What? I can't believe Something you tells that. me Waka's not gonna like that. Sir Oren? Count me out. We have to atone to make up for the sins we have committed. Of course. It's not like I ever liked Maester Seymour, yeah? No so way I'll ever forgive him for killing Lord Jisco. And for trying to do us all in two, you know? <laughs> but still, the bunch of us going against Yevon? No way! <laughs> But still, Boobs, close we up. Why? And must face our punishment. We must go to Bevel. They sexualize Lulu so Jamaica much in this game. And explain what has happened. There is no other way, I think. I agree. Uh, Sir Oren? So it is decided. 
Will you come with us? I am the troublemaker after all. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You can always count on Aaron to complicate things. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck Blue is with that motion? And runs off and... I never asked you to follow me. Hey, but that's what friends are for. That's what right? friends do. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Huh? Bitte. Friends, huh? Gern geschehen. <laughs> As the Germans say. Man, how can you all act like nothing's wrong? Because nothing's wrong, wrong Walker. That nerves of steel or something. Get over it. <laughs> You're too edgy. Listen to the hymn and calm down. Don't be so edgy, Edgelord Waka. All right, we're gonna save. Is that coming from the temple? Yes. Yes, it is. It's heaven's is. gift. It soothes the hearts of the faithful. It's the hymn of the faith. Awesome. So we're gonna talk to our party Say, you feel again. Something weird in the air. Some kind of bad vibes or something. Maybe. I thought so. That, that's all you have to say? Okay, there's actually a hidden chest back here. Um, if you dick around enough, it has a level 2 key sphere in it. So that's awesome. Riku! Uh, friends, huh? Yeah. First time a non Albed called me that. Doll. So precious. What's up, Lulu? Who is that singing? Boobs McGee. The Faith. Oh. Huh? The Faith? What? It can sing? Of course it can. Don't be a fool. <laughs> of course! How could I be so silly? What the hell's wrong with me? Okay, um... Let's talk to Yuner. I'm sure that... Maester Micah will listen to us. Hey, <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever you say. What's up? <laughs> Not you. He he he. Adorable. Well, I want to talk to Kamari, though. This smell different now. Kimari not know if this good or bad. Hmm. I don't know either then. Alright, let's go talk to Oren. Because yeah, he's the he last one. Yeah, he he did. <laughs> yeah, over and over. <laughs> but not this good, that's for sure. It's hard for me to imagine Jack shit. singing. <laughs> uh, what? You were listening? Oh boy, obligatory flashback moment. Jeez, can I get a little privacy? Nope. Your singing reminded me of Spira. Oh right, you're not originally from Xanarkin, are you? Nope. You homesick? <laughs> Maybe. Say, how'd you get to Xanarkand anyway? That's a story for Zanarkand. another time. Uh-huh. I thought so. <laughs> that proved it. Sin was the link between Xanarkand and Spira. Which means, if we kill Sin, I'll never be able to go home. Well, worse things could happen. The singing stopped. Uh oh. That's not good. There's something here. The ground. It's sin. Now we get some real fucking high definition. <laughs> this looks like a giant whale with feathers. Sin. <laughs> the toxin, watch out. Oh no! It was then I knew that Sin really was my old man. For the first time, I was finally able to believe it. And why is that, Titus? The song you were listening to. Oh. What is it this time? <laughs> Hmm. 
It's Xanarkand. Xanarkand. Upside down. <laughs> ah. You homesick too? Balls! Sorry. That's <laughs> not your world anymore. You're sin now. Oh, he misses Blitzball. Oh, he misses Titus. It's so sad. Hey, I'm older now, you know? <laughs> I know. You want this to end. Yep. I'll find a way, promise. Yeah, that was a nice little moment, actually. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> Don't drown. Where are we now? Surely not at the bottom of Lake Makalania. Hell no. We are somewhere in the middle of a fucking desert. Isn't that lovely? Hmm. Where am I? I forgive you this time. This time. Be good for a while, okay? Alright, as you guys saw, there's a chest over in the water, but we're gonna go ahead and save. And unfortunately, guys, this is where I'm going to have to end the episode, because I'm all out of time for this one. But we are making some good story progress, so I'm happy about that. I'm glad that we're getting into more of the meat of the story, like I said, and... Um, we're, we're definitely in a brand new area now, and a whole lot of other interesting stuff is going to happen uh, story-wise uh, pretty soon as well. So uh, I'm excited to be getting into that part of the game. Uh, we're also coming up on one of the best areas in the game to grind, so we can look forward to that too. That's that's definitely going to be what I dedicate a lot of my time to as well. So uh, I think that's all for now, guys. So thanks for stopping by. If you guys enjoyed this episode, click that like button's ass for me, please. And until next time, guys, have a nice day.